Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and yes, it is a little bit early for me to be back with this game but the reason I have returned a little bit early is because this is the full version guys. The full version. It's no longer early access. Now there might be some minor changes but they haven't even brought the full version to Steam yet. This was made available to me to try out and see if I could find any more mistakes. But guys, we got some really cool stuff going on here. I'll show you what I am talking about here. First, let's get over here to the inventory here, guys. But check this out. We have normal equipment, ice fishing equipment. We've got fly fishing, bottom fishing, and casting is now available. So, you got spinning, casting, bottom, and fly now, guys. And since there's so few games that allow you to do fly fishing, that's what I'm going to go over today, guys, because it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. It is one of the most fun that I have tried so far. But I've got a basic setup here. I went ahead and got this rod. It's a level 2 rod, nothing major. About 15 pounds because we're going to Betty Lake. Nothing there is too huge. I got about 15 pound test line and I've got well 16 pound for that for the reel. And I've got a whole bunch of fly lures here. Let me sh or not let's see, get down to the lures here. Most of them actually. And there's different types, guys. There's some that are wet. We've got some dry ones that, like this one here. We've got some nymphs. Some streamers. But you can kind of pick what you want to work with. And it tells you which uh, critters it'll catch. But right here it says cutthroat. Brown trout, rainbow trout, and I've got quite a few of them. I haven't got all of them, and they've added some just since I last checked. So I might purchase a couple of more just because it might make things kind of interesting. Let me see. There's a streamer. I haven't got a streamer, so I'm going to buy that one. Oh, I can't. Level 17. Aha. I am only a level 11, so how high can I go? Ah, that's it. Well, can't get any new ones just yet, but we will get there. Anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to check out the first fishery, Betty Lake, because that's where everybody's going to be starting. And if you might just decide instead of regular spinning or bottom fishing, you might decide to do some fly casting first. So. That's up to you. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Let me see what I've got set up here first. Let me see which lure I'm on here. I have at the moment. Oh, that's my, I need to switch here. Let's use this set, guys. Right at the moment, I've got this. Oh, what is it called? Okina fly. This is, I believe, wet. Yes, it is. Now, the, th the trick of this, guys, is you need to pick a lure that of what size you want to fish for. Now, if you've got, if you're just beginning, you're going to have lighter tests, smaller rods. You're probably going to want one of these because you're going to be, you, you won't be able to pull these big fish in. 
But I will tell you, the big, the higher up the level, the bigger the 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 hook size, the bigger the fish you're going to pull in. But let's go ahead and try one. It's like this Akenia fly here. This is a wet one, and we'll go ahead and equip that. All right, let's go ahead and let me tell you right here. For fly fishing, I've been catching mostly brown trout and rainbows. And this is not a bad place to start, but I will tell you, you got to watch that rock over there. If it gets, if they swim behind it, they can cause your line to get snapped. Whoa. I don't know if you noticed that, but let me show you something here, guys. This is a little different. With this, you press and hold the button, left button, and then you have to get in the middle to cast it. Try to get the closer you get, the better your accuracy. Now, basically what you do is you just pull it on in. Now, there's probably other moves, but I've only figured out the straight at the moment. But I'm catching them off the straight, so it's not really all that particular. And on this, you can see an underwater view. If you so choose. I think it's kind of interesting to watch him attack it. But you got to hold this button down to get that straight. And that might be a little bit fast, honestly. So I will tell you, let me throw this out one more time. Just like that. And I'm going to take this down a notch because it was a little fast. I find that the third notch is a little too fast. And they don't go for it as well. Okay, we're getting a pretty good straight. Now since this is a smaller lure, it's more than most likely we're going to get a smaller fish. Hmm, nothing went for it this time. Interesting. Alright, let's see just how many fish we got out there. Well, there's plenty of them, but I guess I need to throw it more to the right. Of course, it's right where the rock is. I don't really care for that, but well, that's not going to be quite as accurate. If you don't get any hits off a of lure, switch it around. I will say the fish here tend to be a little bit bigger, so we might go with a bigger fly. There's the rock. Hmm, nothing was interested. Quite interesting. Well, I think I might switch one. Let's see, this one, this is a dry fly. Yeah, they do go for it, but it may have been just the type of... Trout that happened to be in this area. Let's pull this in, see if this does anything. Now, like I said, you can, you don't have to do the camera. You could just watch it like you would straight normal fishing.
Ah, check it out. Bigger hook. That's our problem. That's our problem. See? So what we need to do is we need to come down here. I'm going to pick a much larger lure like this Akina fly here. Let's equip that one. And see if we change our luck. Like I said, you got to remember to check that or click that cast. It's different. But this is a much bigger one. That's what our problem was. But at least it lets you know. There we go. Looks like we got us a rainbow. Nope. No, it's not a rainbow. It's a cutthroat. I think. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. No, well, maybe it's a bull trout. Yeah, I'll get a better look at it. I gotta be careful around this rock, though. But yeah, you gotta let them take it just a little bit and then start increasing the tension slowly. Now, he might be pretty big because we ended up having to go with a big size hook. Apparently, all of them around here are fairly good size. I gotta be careful around this rock. Okay, we're past it. Alright, we got us a bull trout. Not bad. But one of the things, they've changed a lot of the settings here. We can tell how much money we have, how much XP we got, the weight and length of the fish. So they've changed quite a few little odds and ends here. See if we can't get us a brown trout here. Now right now we're using a wet fly. So I might switch it to a dry fly, see if that does anything different. Seems like most of these guys are pretty close to shore. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's a brown trout. And he's a strong guy, too. We're going to have to give him a little leeway. Alright, let's see what he looks like. Yeah, he's a big fella. He's still pulling that line out. But he's starting to turn now, so maybe we can increase our tension just a touch. I mean, it's it's a little close. I was hoping we'd get us a brownie. But yeah, right here... You can get the browns. Okay, be careful around that rock. Because it'll shoot up because it gets caught. See? Ah! It wasn't because of that. It was because of that stupid rock. <laughs> That's the only reason I don't like it right there. I'm going to try getting over here a little bit. Because they love to go behind that rock and break that line. I mean, it's almost like they know. <laughs> but the rainbows are also here, too. Now, on the other end of things, you'll see a lot more of the brook trout. And what's cool about using this fly casting look, uh, line and rod and reel... Whoop, there we go. Let's turn it down a little bit. What's cool about it is you'll get some much bigger brown trout than you'll, you've seen in the past. I mean, we're not talking huge or anything, but... 
I was pulling in like seven, eight pound brook trout, and that is pretty good size for those guys. All right, we're almost there. There we go. Another bull trout. We'll sell him. Let's change over to a dry fly here. Let's see, what's our biggest dry fly? Is this a dry fly? No, it's the wet fly. There's a nymph. I haven't bought one of those yet. Streamer. That's one I wanted to try. See if it goes for the streamer. So it looks like it kind of wobbles underwater. All right. I've seen a lot of fish, but nothing seems to be going for it. Let's try one more time. And if nothing goes for it, we'll switch over to the dry fly and we'll head over to the brook end of things. There we go. Looks like another bull. Yeah, in the middle you're going to get more rainbows, though. You might get some brown, but the rainbows are definitely in the, more in the middle of the lake. Now, he's not too big. He's coming in fairly easily. Yeah, coming over to the side was much better getting around that silly rock. Alright, let's come over here. Now a good place, you want to look for that rock, big rock in the center, but a good place to fish for the rainbows, and a lot of times you'll get browns as well, is right over here off this rock that kind of juts out into the lake itself. It's one of my favorite places to fish in this particular lake. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a dry fly this time. Let's see, I've got nymph here. I got us. There we go. Let's equip this one. The Panet Fly DY5. I like to aim right straight for the rock. And kind of do it at an angle. That way we get a little bit more length out on it. But see, the draft fly just sits on top, does not go under the water any. Pretty cool, as you can see. Now, that's a brook trout. So, they're kind of in a little bit. Now, you notice he's actually giving me a little bit of a fight. So, he's probably not a bad size. I think the biggest that I've caught so far was around seven pounds. And I'd like to break that record. I don't know if he's going to break it or not, but we've got quite a few species swimming around out there. I'm seeing, whoa, gotta watch that tension. Yeah, he's big. Almost there. Yeah, if you ever see that do that, flip it down. There we go. 
Now, he's not huge, but he's big. He's not bad. There you go, Brook Trout. Let's sell him. Let's see if we can't get a brown. We've kit we lost that one brown, which really kind of aggravated me, but at least you did get to see that the rocks can be a problem at times. Oh, check it out. That, my friends, is a rainbow. And he isn't bad. Alright, he is... He's running with it. Okay, I'm starting to turning. Alright, we're... He's fighting me though, but he is turning slowly. We are getting him in. Boy, he is splashing up quite a bit. Look at him. He is not happy to be on this line. He's coming. Almost there. Almost there, guys. There we go. Now that, my friends, is a decent rainbow. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to get a pick of him, but he's 10.58 pounds. It's not the biggest one I've caught, but he's up there. Let me go ahead and sell him. All right, let's see if we can't switch over to wet lure. So that one was dry. That's dry. So that may be, well, no, it may do all right. Now this might pull in a smaller fish, but we do have some brook trout out here, so we should attract one of them. I'm headed to throwing it over that direction because you're going to get more brook trout on that end. There's one making a beeline for it. Yep. I saw him. I saw him coming. I saw him. Come on, little fella. Ooh, you are going to give me a hard time, aren't you? Well, we'll just keep it at zero for a moment. Now let's put on the tension here. A lot of this guy's is patience. And just, you know, inch them there. There we go. We got him. But yeah, like I said, he's considerably smaller than one I caught earlier. Well, let me go ahead and move down here to where the brook trout are. Not that they weren't over here, but there's a lot of brook trout on this end of things. And the reason is because, well, there's a brook. <laughs> Empties right into it right here. But we are going to try right here for a moment. 
And this is probably end this episode, but I can't wait to try this out on some of the other lakes. Well, let's get a bit bigger lure here because I want to catch a big brook if I can. Let's see. The biggest one I have that I can actually use and buy is this one. I'm going to equip it. Alright, let's see what we will see. This is a wet lure, so... My thing is, I did not check this. There he comes. Boom! I think we got us a cutthroat. Eh, I didn't see his underside very well, so... But he's big. No, it might be a rainbow. Holy crap, he is... He's strong. Come on. No, I think he is a cutthroat. He's got a lot of red under his jaw. But honestly, this has been a lot of fun. I haven't seen but one other game that has fly fishing. And it's still in its extreme early stages, and this is much more realistic than that particular game was. Not to bash him, I mean, it, we, he's got like, the game has like one developer. So, you know, he's got, it's going to take him time. But this is, this is cool. This is a lot of fun, and I think they've got something here. They really do. They've got enough different types of fishing to keep people interested they can switch back and forth now I haven't tried the casting yet but I will probably soon but I want to mess with this fly fishing for a little while longer there we go cutthroat trout 9.39 pounds isn't he a pretty thing isn't he pretty yeah I'm gonna take a picture of him because I think he's that pretty Alright, I'm going to slide down here a little bit more. And we're going to toss it out one more time. And I think we'll call this an episode. But I am really having a good time with this, guys. Whoop, better take my attention down. That would have been most unfortunate. Now you don't catch one every time, but I tell you, you catch catch them pretty often with this. At least on this lake, I'm gonna. It's gonna be cool to see. Whoa! Just how well looks like another cutthroat. Looks how well we do on some of the other lakes, especially with the pike on uh, St. Zeno's. I'm really interested to see that. Might be able to get a really big one because I haven't caught a really big pike yet. I've caught some fairly decent sized ones, but I know there were a lot bigger ones. But I also know they love to catch the flies, so... He's almost there, guys. I don't know if he's as big as the other one was, but he is definitely giving me a fight, and... He was getting attention up just a little bit too much there for a moment. Now, he's not nearly as big as the last one, but we got him. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That's just a quick down and dirty of the fly fishing here at Betty Lake. And guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully I will be back with you guys doing more videos by the end of this week, as you guys know, I do have surgery coming up. But until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.